What's going on miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today we're going to be testing out this RX 6600 XT rig and we're going to be putting it against my RTX A2000 rig. We're going to test the wattage, the mega hash, and we're going to go over some pros and cons of these two cards. If you guys are interested in this, let's do it. All right, so let's go over how I have all of this set up. As you can see, I went ahead and I grabbed the A2000 rig, which is amazing. I absolutely love this rig. It's so light and it's just perfect. This is the 6600 rig over here. We have power meters on each. As you can see, this is from Matt Electron. Again, thank you so much. I do have seven inch cumin screens on each one of my rigs. I tend to keep a screen on each one just so I can see if one shuts down while it's mining or whatever the case may be. Usually goes to like a blue screen or it'll just freeze. That way I know I have to check Hive OS. I went ahead and I unplugged all of the fans. If you guys don't know, you can backfeed fans with the riser. So I have all of my fans, Molexes, plugged into the side of the riser. It's these four cards and these four cards. So that's all unplugged. So the wattage pull is absolutely the same because there's no fans on this rig. Then I also unplugged this card right here. There is no power to it, no USB. And on top of that, I unplugged this right here. This is my A4000. I actually have a killer test video on this. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I will leave a link above. But I do run this rig with all 13 cards, the A4000 being one and 12 A2000s. But for this test, we need to make it even. So 11 cards on this rig, 11 cards on this rig, all exactly the same. I guess the only thing we could do now is let's turn them on and we will uh, get this test started. So these A2000s, if you guys did not know, they are powered completely by the riser. There is no six pin adapter on them at all. And they are pulling 124 watts right now. That is because all of these fans are spinning because this GPU is technically all powered up without the motherboard sending a signal to turn it on. These on the other hand, none of the fans are spinning. These are the 6600 XTs and we're pulling seven less watts, 117. So. That's uh, pretty interesting to say the least. Let's give this a minute. I want to get them all booted up. All right, so they're both up in mining. The 6600 XT is actually working fine on the screen. I'm not quite sure why the A2000 rig won't post on the screen. It's this card right here into the 16X slot. It did briefly, and now it's just blue screen, but it's working in the software and it's obviously mining. So real quick, 6600 XT rig, we have just about 900 watts, 890 to 900, okay? Right here, we have 880 watts. So about 20 watts less on the A2000 rig, 11 cards, 20 watts more on the 6600 XT. Now let's get into the software. I wanna show you guys the mega hash on each rig. All right, so here we are inside Hive OS, RX 6600 XT rig, 11 GPUs. We're looking at a total mega hash of 354.5 which is really not bad. 32 mega hash per card. We're looking right between 58 and 62, I guess, wattage in the software. And right up here at the top, it says total rig is 706 watts in the software. We know that this thing is pulling around 890 to 900 watts at the actual wall. So that's kind of interesting. It's about 200 watts off. So one quick thing about these cards, you can actually do some more tweaking inside the software. This allows it to bring down the wattage on these cards between 45 and 55 per card. But this is what I found stable inside Hive OS for me with all different types of cards. So right here we have core voltage, we have memory controller voltage and memory voltage. These three things can be adjusted and messed with to I guess make the cards more efficient but they vary drastically between all the 6600 XTs. So honestly, 900 on the core, 1140 on the memory. I noticed that these things run stable and there's no issues, no crashing, and it's, it's working. So I'm just gonna leave my cards like this with this many 6600 XTs on the rig. Now over here to the A2000 rig, we have 450 mega hash in the software which is what, just under 100, about 95 more than the actual 6600 XT rig. 
we're getting 40 to 41 mega hash per card at right around 70 watts in the software, 68 to 70. And total rig, it says up top, 810.6 watts. And we know that rig's actually pulling 880 to 890 watts at the wall. So that's kind of interesting. This is only like 90 to 100 watts off and the 6600 rig was like 200 watts off. So that's kind of, kind of weird. I don't know if that has something to do with being powered through the riser or not, but either way, as you guys can see overall, the A2000 rig is definitely dominant over the 6600 rig, but I'm gonna give you guys some pros and cons. Let's look at some actual prices that these things are going for right now, and we'll, uh, we'll go over what I think. All right, so over here, I just went and Googled the RX 6600 XT MSRP prices, okay? So down here, you can see it says the RX 6600 XT at or under, $379, so $379, I think $439.99 is more realistic in today's market. This article is a little older. So roughly, MSRP on these things should be right around $450. Let's just say that for a round number, $450. So let's see what they're going for on eBay. Over here, RX 6600 XT going for $600 basically, $700. So between six and $700 unless you buy it used, and this is bidding, so that's 560 bucks. I mean, is what it is. Now over here, A2000, the original MSRP on these things was like 450 to $500. Uh, this one right here says 567, roughly $550, we'll say MSRP on these, and gross. <laughs> these things are going for 850 plus dollars to $1,000, Please guys, don't, don't pay this kind of money for these cards. Like this is just outrageous. All right, so now let's go over a few pros and cons of the RX 6600 XT. All right, I'll give you the things I like about it first. I like the fact that you can resell these at a later date for a bigger profit because they're also a gaming GPU. Then we have availability. These cards are more available unlike the RTX A2000. And to be honest, price per mega hash at MSRP this is a really good buy. I mean, it, it really is. Now let me give you guys a few things that I don't like about these. I don't like how unstable AMD cards are. Uh, these are a total pain in the butt when it comes to mixed rigs. You have these on a rig with Nvidia cards and it just doesn't want to play nice. I put one 2080 on this rig just to fill it up to 12 GPUs on this sluice frame and they would only pull 28 mega hash per card. They would not get over 29. I don't understand why Nvidia throws it off when it's all together on one rig, but it does. And then the other thing, overclocking. Overclocking these cards is a nightmare when it comes to doing the core voltage, memory voltage, things like that. To get the wattage down, the fact that they're so different between the same cards drives me wild. I, I don't know what else to say, but it does, it's tough. Those are a couple things that I just don't like about the card itself. Now let's go over to the RTX A2000. Okay, so RTX A2000, let's go over a few things I like about it and a few things I don't. So I love the fact that it's tiny, all right? That is one huge thing. These cards are small as heck. You don't need extra cables to plug these things in. They only take one six pin on the riser. That is amazing. That means less equipment, less hardware, the whole nine, so that's awesome. And also, wattage per hash rate is unbelievable, phenomenal. You literally, I mean, in my opinion, you can't top this. 450 mega hash on an 11 car GPU mining rig at 900 watts, under 900 watts at the wall, that's just phenomenal. So, me personally, I love these cards. Now, a few cons about them. People are selling them for an outrageous amount of money right now, as you guys just saw. The availability just absolutely sucks. It's not there. So that's a real big con, obviously. Another thing, these are not gaming GPUs. So when you go to resell them, it's gonna be a scarce market. If people are not into mining like we are and they just want a card for everyday use, it's not gonna be something that they're after. That's just the reality of it. And then lastly, the fans on them and the design of these cards, they're so small and compact, they do get a little hotter than normal. That is another thing that is very difficult to deal with on these A2000s and the A4000s. The A4000s are actually worse. But 
Again, these are great cards, it's just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. The RX 6600 XT or the RTX A2000, which one would you choose? I mean, to be honest, they're pretty good, either one. I just wouldn't pay the scalp price for this RTX A2000. The RX 6600 XT is a really good buy if you can get it at MSRP, and it seems that they have plenty available usually. I mean, it's still hard to get, but it's a lot easier than all these other cards. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Hopefully you appreciated the content. If you did, please don't forget, go down here, hit this like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't seen this video or this video, go check them out. You guys might learn something else. I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.